Hi, I'm Jesse with DixieProductsInc.com. Today we're going to show you how to rebuild a W92 pump or a T-Series 921. Let's take a look. First, start by removing all the eight bolts out of the head with a half-inch ratchet. I've already taken the time to loosen all of them. Once removed, you may have to use a screwdriver. The head may be a little bit tight to pry it loose. Being careful not to bend or break any of the brass that's on the head. Once loose, you can see that there's three ceramic plungers. This is a triplex pump. You want to make sure that all the piston rods where the ceramics are connected to are tight. There's no slack. Make sure that none of the ceramics are cracked anywhere around. Once you confirm that all that's tight, move down to the pump head. Just start by taking the pump head loose if the parts didn't already come out when you remove the head. You may have to take a pair of pliers and just lightly twist the packing retainer. Once removed, reinsert the new seals into the W92 pump. First piece is a plastic ring, it's called the head ring. It's got a beveled edge and a flat edge. Flat edge goes down. Next is the high pressure seal. It also has a beveled edge and a rounded edge on the top. Beveled edge goes down. Next is the restop ring. Next, you take the brass packing retainer, insert your low pressure seal, before inserting the brass retainer ring, insert the intermediary restop, beveled edge down. Insert the brass retaining ring, packing side down. Once you're done with the first cylinder number one, just repeat steps for cylinders two and three. After you have installed the number two and number three cylinder, and they're all complete, and you'll just reassemble back on the pump, carefully not to damage any of the ceramics. the eight bolts back into the cylinder head and you just rebuilt a W92 general pump. 